Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If it was a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger. Anaka Wakano. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen. Presenting the reigning. Defending. USC heavyweight champion of the world. Bruce. The Dragon League! Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not, Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he heard a bell of the jet. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Nice jab there by Moicano. Fast pace here in the early going. Well, missed on that one. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more. Up. Moicano's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have it, but he's got to really get his hips up into his opponent and make sure his opponent doesn't roll off to the side. Ooh, sorry to cut shot, but he got it. What a great job attacking the lock. Rolling to your back, giving up the mount. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Got to be careful here. Relax, relax. Calm down, calm down. Nicely done. 
big ground and pound. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Lance with the ground and pound here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Good job by the champ there. He's right back up. Moicano going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And very effective with the ground and pound. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Nakano's back in full mount. Under a minute now to go. Oh, he got to the spot. Lee gets pounded here on the ground. The elbow there doing the damage. He Bottom fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Got to be careful here. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Uh, Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. Take a seat. Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more moving. Keep that head moving. He needs to get behind that jab and start. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Round it. two on the way. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped that. It was so tight. I cannot believe it. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. I nice tried that by the Oh, nice body shot. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Mm, nice. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Gotta start throwing down. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Lee. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Moicano's back in full mouth. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Keep 
Strong elbow there. Lee's in half court. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Changing the position. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Let's keep it up. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. He's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Straight down the middle. Lee's now switching his stance. Well, if you've got good takedowns from the clinch, you first got to get it there, and the BJJ fighter has had no problem doing that tonight. Well, he's closed the distance masterfully. He does a great job of timing his opponent's attacks, dropping his level, getting chest to chest, and really slowing him down. Pretty good jab there by Moicano. Oh! Huge kick to the head. One minute to go, round two. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. That was a big check. Another takedown attempt, not there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Your kicks are working hard. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Clean execution on that leg kick. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. Yeah. You can hit with a shot like that. You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. 
He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your Leg kick. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Three minutes to go in round three. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, if you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blast from kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. Fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You gotta take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Slips to avoid the right. All oh, right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to limp. It, it's, it's natural. You got to check these kicks right now, or that's going to happen. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him off. Single leg takedown. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? On to the mount. Under a minute now to go. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, nice. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. 20 seconds left. Great job landing from the top position. Let's go. Push, push, push. Final seconds of round three. He's got to be careful here. Oh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. Schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a five. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Back and forth we go. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, big left hook there. 
Moicano going for the takedown here, but he misses. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Landed the overhand. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Another punch to the head. The fighter's on point tonight, lands a beautiful kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Awesome level change. Great timing. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Side control. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Moicano. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Moicano. Don't be standing still. He's gonna tag on bar here. That is tight. Oh, it looks tight to me. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Moicano. Side control now. Under two minutes now to go. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Good work from the top here by Moicano. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Moicano's in half guard now. Now it's his mount. Constantly a moving target. Use your hips to get up. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needs setting up a submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh my goodness, he's getting it tight. for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title.